say two things. Number one, we have a website. Number two, we hate our website. If we want to improve the way it looks, the worst thing you can ever do is write your own CSS. Writing your own CSS is time consuming. If you're not good at design, your website's probably gonna be awful. Um, you have a much better chance of creating a nice looking website by using a CSS framework like Bulma or Bootstrap. I cover that in a separate video. I'm linking it in the, in, uh, the description below. Uh, you could also download a full HTML template from something like html5up.net. It's kind of difficult to get your code working in something like this though. So what we're going to do today is we are going to do the second best thing to writing your own code, which is stealing someone else's code. So let's say there's a website that we really like. Now half my students love this, half my students hate it, is great. So we are going to steal it and we're gonna make our website look just like Larry's website. Now, the way I'm working on my website here um, is I am using a, a special tool uh, called Final Final. Let's see. And Final Final uh, is a build system that does blah, 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 all kinds of stuff. If you're just using a simple HTML file, that's totally fine. Um, the things that we're going to be doing today are applicable no matter how your website is built because it's just basic, simple uh, HTML, CSS that we are stealing from someone else. So um, what we're going to do is I am going to go straight to index.html. This is the file that we're going to be editing, and I'm going to do npm run start to start up my server. Now, you might just be opening up an index.html file in you know, your web browser, which is totally fine. Um, this is just the way that my website is built, so I need to do it like this. All right, here's my website. Let's fix it up, make it look like Larry's. What you were gonna do is you were gonna go to the website that you like. You're going to right click and you are going to view page source. So there are two things you are looking for to begin with. Number one are style sheet link tags. So link href blah, 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 rel equals style sheet. This is style sheet code that has been written that the page uses. These are CSS rules. In this case, it's just a Google font. Um, so the reason why the web page is able to use this font is because it pulls it from Google. So if we weren't going to use this font, we wouldn't need this line, but it's fine. We'll, we'll use it. And so it looks like going through the rest of Larry's page, these are all of the styles that exist here. So normally what we would have to do is download someone's CSS file and we'd save it on our own computer, stuff like that. Um, but in, in this case, we don't have to do that. Um, all we have to do is copy, honestly, this style tag. I'm gonna do this in a slightly more complex way though, just in case you uh, need to copy specific CSS rules. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna create a new file. Um, I'm gonna call it, let's see, larry.css. I'm gonna paste all of these style rules into it. If there was another style sheet that was like right here, for example, you can click it and then you can copy and paste all this code. Granted, if you're using uh, Google Fonts APIs, then you know you should probably be using the actual uh, link code there. Um, but you know if they have their own custom CSS that's in like style or href styles whatever dot CSS, you would just use that. Um, for example, on let's say this page right here, if I viewed page source, ooh, I don't have any custom styles. So sad, so sad. Well, so it goes. All right, so we have all of these styles here and I'm just going to refresh my page. Oh no, they're not showing up. Why are they not showing up? because I need to say, hey, index.html, um, I wrote some CSS files that I would like for you to save. So I'm gonna say, oh, okay, okay. The way that I do that is link rel equals stylesheet 
href equals larry.css is in the style subfolder. So I'm going to say style larry.css. Save it, refresh, and now this is closer to Larry's page. It's not exactly the same as Larry's page though, right? It's a little bit different. So the next thing we're going to do, now that we've stolen Larry's CSS and we see that they're kind of showing up on the page, if this were a CSS framework like Bulma, there would be certain rules in the documentation about how we do certain things. For example, a button. It would say you do class equals button. You do class equals button, and then you do class equals button is info, is success, is warning, is danger. And you have all these nice, nice examples. In this case, though, because we're thieves, we have to reverse engineer what Larry is doing. So we see, OK, everything in here is inside of a div ID equals container. Then there's a section class equals top. And then there's a section ID equals links. So let's let's kind of recreate that. So if everything is inside of div ID equals container, I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to say div ID equals container up at the top. Then I'm going to scroll down to the end of the body and I'm going to say close that div. I'm going to refresh to see if anything changed. All right, we got a little extra space up there. Fine, fine. Next up, we have section class equals top. Okay, let's add that. It's right here. I'm making it uh, go between where I introduce myself as saying, hi, I'm Soma, and then gives my little, uh, little bio there. I'm going to format this page just so it, well, it doesn't want to do it for me. Uh, so it goes. Great. Now it's kind of pulled that text in a little bit there. Now what's different from what, what we've written compared to with what Larry has written? Well, Larry didn't use like an H1 tag or a P tag or any of these things. He just kind of threw some text in there. Oh, hey, let's add div class equals bio to this section that is more of a bio. Save it, refresh. Still looks the same, but you know what? It's close enough. Um, if we're not using, you know, this is an H1 on ours. If we change this into, let's say, a P tag, and we save it, there, look. We look much more like Larry. So we can leave it like that. This, this looks a little bit closer to Larry's, and that's fine. OK, now what we want is we want all of these links down at the bottom. Now, the way that Larry creates these links, uh, he uses some magic JavaScript. But I don't want to use JavaScript. That seems too complicated. Um, I want to manually make this happen. So if I go here, if I right click and say inspect, it's going to show me the way that Larry's page is done. Each one of these is a div with a p tag span class equals date, and then a link here. I'm honestly just going to click this, copy, copy outer HTML. So I clicked the div once it was fully highlighted, copy, copy outer HTML. I'm going to go in here. What's this section called? This section is uh, ID equals links. Yeah, OK. So I'll say if that's top, then I'll do Oh, I gotta close my top section. So I close it somewhere else. Oh, very suspicious. I must have forgotten to close something somewhere. Let's see, a tags, p tag, p tag, div, div. This doesn't belong there, maybe. Maybe this don't belongs lower. Eh, close enough. Okay. What happens if I get rid of this div? Does everything explode? No, it seems to be fine. Okay. So I messed it up somewhere. Where did it happen? I don't know. Who cares? So back to what we were doing. I'm going to take this div. I'm going to right click, copy, copper, copy outer HTML. 
And because Larry has a section ID equals links, maybe it has some styles, who knows, section ID equals links. I'm just gonna paste this. Let's see how it looks. Okay, that's, that's Larry's thing, sure, sure. Um, and I'll just add my link in instead. So let's see, the sample scatter plot from class now goes right here. When did I do this? Uh, let's say 07, 27, 21. Save it, refresh, there we go. Um, and honestly, all I need to do after this is just reproduce these again and again and again. I'll put the other links in there. I'll change all the all the content. Um, but that's that's literally it. So I stole Larry's website. Like if I want to add more stuff on here, if I want to add you know all these dashes, things like that, totally can. That's fine. Um, the one thing that I, I didn't really talk about is these br tags. These are just line breaks. So in the way that when I make a paragraph, it puts on a new line. Another way to do that, it's a little more old school, is to say br br br. Uh, which manually puts these uh, new lines in there. Now, stealing, just wholeheartedly stealing Larry's website, kind of awful, kind of awful. Um, we should customize this website just, just a little bit. Um, let me say, let me drop a little text in here that says, there are some links to projects we made. Sure, and maybe I'll add a, a BR in here just to kind of fit with what Larry's doing. Yeah, sure. And maybe a bunch of equal signs because Larry loves to do that as well. Perfect, there we go, okay. So what we are looking to do is um, we wanna kind of customize this to make this our own instead of making it be Larry's. So what we want to do is usually we wanna change like, usually colors are, are a big deal. Um, so I'm going to go to Larry.css, I'm going to say, hey, for the body, I actually want the background to be like, let's say a really dark gray. So what's a really dark gray? Um, 333, three, three. it's pretty dark. Let's see how that looks. Oh, sorry. I was looking for my background color. So let's say background 333. Three, three. Yeah, we can go a little bit darker than that. Oh no. Uh, one, one, one. Yeah, that's nice. And then we can make the actual text on the page white. So it looks kind of old school computer. -y. Maybe we can add a little bit of a, a green glow onto it. Um, so we'll de add a... Uh, what is it, text shadow? Yeah, text shadow. Oh, and I always forget the order. I'm gonna say green, zero, zero, 10 pixels. Is that gonna do it for me? No. Let's see. Okay, I did it in the opposite way. I also want more than that. I need, um, Okay, blur radius, okay. So that does a little little text shadow like that. What I want is zero pixels, zero pixels. So this is the X off, offset and the Y offset. Doing two, two there, pushes it two pixels to the right, two pixels down. And there's actually a mystery third ingredient here um, called the amount of fuzziness that you want. So if I change this to 10 pixels, I now have, I guess you can't really see it because it's not, Maybe five. Oh, it's so hard to see. It's so hard to see. If I made this something a little bit brighter, you could probably see it. Yeah, there you go. So now it's glowing a little bit. Um, one of my favorite tricks is to just do like a lot of different text shadows on something <coughs> to make it look like it's glowing. So now it kind of looks like a, you know, a web terminal or something like that. Um, so now we need to also change uh, these links right here. Um, currently, they have a background of white, so I'll delete the background of white. Refresh. That looks awful. Um, maybe the color of them should be white, in fact. 
Um, and then we'll also give them a maybe magenta. What do we think about that? <laughs> Love it. And then I'm going to give them a text shadow that is a uh, text shadow none, maybe. Does that seem reasonable? No, it still looks awful. Still looks awful. Um, we'll just say color white. That'll be fine. And we'll give them a uh, text decoration underline. So text decoration underline, um, we'll give them an underline. Color white, we'll set them to be the same white color that all the rest of the text is. Yeah, what do we think about this glow here? Eh, eh, I don't think I like the glow and I don't think I like, another way of doing a, an underline is saying a border bottom. Um, we're gonna get rid of it. All right, so we're better, we're better. We now want to change the hover. I'm going to make the background color magenta, and then our actual color be white. Now I'll make it be black. Oh, looks so awful. We'll turn off the text shadow. Okay, there we go. So now we've made a website that is pretty based on Larry's website. Um, but we've edited enough that it is different enough that we are not complete assholes by just ganking his website. Um, so that's how you do it. You go in, you steal all of their styles, whether you steal it from the actual uh, style block here or whether you steal it by clicking anything that has link href rel style sheet. Um, and then you just throw it in your own a CSS file and you link to it. Um, it is very, very, very important to kind of, you know, change the way that your stuff looks um, because not only is it shameful and thefty in order to just wholeheartedly steal someone's website, it also just, your website will look the same as someone else's and that should just be embarrassing. So there you go. Um, we are now Larry Buchanan, life is perfect. Um, I'll drop a link with the uh, completed file in uh, in the description. Thanks a lot.